In this video, we are going to move the laminar flow hood. Hey guys, this is part 3 of the new lab series. All the work is finished and we are ready to move all the equipment in. The laminar flow hood is the biggest and the heaviest piece of equipment. It took 4 people to load it and unload it from the truck. There is only one problem, it doesn't fit through the door. The door is only 30 inches while the laminar flow hood is 40 inches wide. The only way to get it in the room will be to disassemble it into 6 pieces. The base, the hood, the filter, the top part, the electronics and the blower. The first step will be to remove the blower. To do that, I had to disconnect the electrical wire first and then remove all the screws from the base. But first, I had to remove the 10 screws from the front plate to get access to the electrical components. I took a few pictures of the electrical wires so I can quickly put everything back together. I had to remove the main electrical wires and the ones coming from the blower and a few ground wires. Next, remove all the screws keeping the blower in place. Every single component of this flow hood is quite heavy, just the blower weighs more than 50 pounds. After that, I was able to remove the last screws keeping the top part in place. Now, let's separate the hood from the HEPA filter. I had to remove the screen protecting the filter. The filter is very delicate and I had to be very careful not to damage the filter from now on. With some help, we separate the hood from the filter and move it inside the lab. So here it is, the $40 laminar flow hood. If you did not watch the first episode of this mini-series, I talk about how I purchased this laminar flow hood from a local university surplus action a couple of years ago. This is a deal that is hard to beat, but if you are looking to buy a used laminar flow hood or some other lab equipment, Check your local university or government actions like govdeals.com At this moment, I can reassemble the hood, but I'm going to take a moment to give it a little TLC. The filter and the blower are in excellent conditions, but the hood is close to 20 years old and you can tell just by looking at it. So I'm going to give it a fresh coat of paint. The next morning, I took each piece, one at a time, back to the garage to get it ready for paint. The first step was to remove all the labels using a razor blade.
The second step was to use an adhesive remover to get rid of the glue left behind. Finally, I gave it a good sign using a fine grey sandpaper block. I used a wet paper towel to get rid of the dust. I'm using a gloss, oil-based white paint. I want the lab to be as bright as possible, so everything has to be painted white. This paint takes 24 hours until you can apply the second coat. I gave it 3 coats in total. In the next video, we will assemble the flow hood and start moving the plants to the new lab. Until then, make sure to subscribe, check plantsoutechnology.com and follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn and Instagram.